Okay, another edition of the Ang Photographer here. Here's another secret that shouldn't be a secret at all. Nobody ever thinks to buy these. Okay, everything is about flash photography ultimately. I mean, there's really nowhere you should be going without a flash. Of course, I've got a, an array of uh, SB910s and some older uh, SB800s. They're perfect for studio flashes on the go. and You just really cannot live without a, a, a really good... Do not recommend getting the SB700, by the way. It's kind of an inferior flash. It's a little bit more fragile. I recommend spending... The extra $200 more on the SB900, but you can't live without one of these. I own five of them. If you don't have one of these, you're an idiot. You can get them all day long for about $30 used on eBay. New, they're $90, but you should never buy one of these new for $90. It is an Icon SC29. It's a TTL flash control, so getting your flash off your camera. Here, I'm going to have a D7100. I don't need to attach a flash at this point in time. All you have to do is stick your SC29 on the top of your Nikon, you lock it into place, stick your uh, speed light over here, whether your SB800, 900, 910, whatever, stick it over here, so you can do off angle uh, flash control, you can do under lighting, side lighting, obviously with a reflector, you just have so many countless thousands of options of uh, changing your lighting condition. Don't limit yourself by having your freaking speed light mounted on the top of your camera, okay, that's great for press photographers. Everybody sees that it's not for great composure. You're never going to be a master of light. And I don't mean master of light by using ambient light, which obviously is necessarily the case. But you're never going to be a master of light. And about 60% of being the master of light and controlling light when it comes to professional photography versus amateur photography is working with your speed light, knowing how to use it, where to use it, but how to angle it, and where to position it. You really can't live without having an SC29 uh, flash cord for off-camera speed light control. You stick your speed light over here, you can under-illuminate for spooky effects, side lighting, get up close, you can do all sorts of angles with your speed light, just stuff you cannot do by having your freaking speed light sit on the top of your damn camera. Well, that's where I mount my speed light. Well, great, but you need to have one of these. Just go on eBay and buy one of these used like new for 40 bucks. If you want to spend $90 for a new one, fine. It's the SC29 uh, speed light cord for your Nikon. Get one of these. If you don't have one of these, you're an idiot. I'd almost dare to say this is the most important, absolute, must-own accessory um, for your digital camera and your speed light. If you have a speed light, a digital camera, your lens is fine. If you don't have one of these, you're an idiot. You really are. If you play with one of these for an hour, you're going to ask yourself, oh my god, how did I live without before, that before? You can do so much interesting lighting with one of these cords by changing your angles, your positions, your proximity, that you can't do that with that flash set on the top of your damn camera. Get an SC29, period. It's not a recommendation. If you don't own one of these, you're a moron. It's really that simple, okay? Go on eBay, buy one.